And good afternoon. Uh, my name is Eric McLear from World Strides. Um, delighted to have with us here this afternoon uh, Mark Conley, who's the uh, um, Director of Coaching for West Virginia Youth Soccer Association ODP program. Uh, here we are at the training ground of Sporting Lisbon, um, here in beautiful Lisbon, Portugal. Uh, we're on day two of our um, familiarization trip to, to bring some of our key partners and some of our prospective partners here to Portugal just to give them an insight to what we do with World Strides XL. Uh, Mark, how's the, the first couple of days going on the trip? It's been fantastic, been yeah. fantastic. Boy, we've been exposed and had exposure to a couple different uh, facilities now with Benfica and Sporting and uh, it's uh, couldn't ask for more. It's been great. Now, what's been your experience of um, just being around Sporting Lisbon today? What was, what's the things that kind of jump out to you about this club? Well, I, I think just the uh, the folks that uh, that live here and that stay here, we got introduced to a training session, and just to see the joy in these kids' faces, uh, we'd love to bring that energy and passion back, and just to to see how these you know, these players go from U12 all the way up to the professional team. Uh, you know, we're standing right here on pitch side with uh, you know the U19s training and the and the first team's training right behind us, and I'm sure these. These kids are hoping to get on the other side of the fence someday. And I think same as yourself, Mark, I enjoy just watching them. You know, the energy and the excitement, the enthusiasm, the passion they had just in a, a little warm-up exercise. And, and and for us to witness that that passion for the game is, is great for our guys to see. And, and you know, when you, you relate that to what you do in West Virginia, what excites you about kind of witnessing this firsthand and what you can do at home? Well, I think just trying to correlate that and bring that back home is try to try to let these kids know back home that, you know, the pros that they would like to maybe be someday or, or doing the simple things every day, yeah. that it's not uh, rocket science, that it's it's simply doing, you know, and playing the game with emotion and passion and energy and, and doing it with an enthusiasm and trying to get better each and every day. And, and that's something as coaches, I think all of us are here, we'd love to try to bring back with us. Yeah, one of the things with us is we are super proud to be a, a partner with West Virginia Youth Soccer Association. And we're their international travel partner. And uh, Mark has, has spearheaded the program over the last couple of years. And, and, and it's been great for us to work with you, Mark, and your, your, your staff and your colleagues and your players to build programs that will open up the eyes of, of these kids to the outside world. What's been your experience of, of the trips that you've done with us? Well, the trips have been a dream for West Virginia for many, many years. Um, we, we've always talked about it and discussed it. We just didn't think we could pull it off. And, and uh, a gentleman who works with me, Brian Shields, came to me with the idea and I, I put it in his lap and he, he ran with it. And our experience has been just nothing but first class. Um, last year we had an opportunity to go to Scotland, yeah. and uh, you know folks were a bit concerned about the weather. And but you know I think that's part of it. You want to embrace the culture of wherever you are, uh, and and the weather elements are just that. You know going in when you go to Scotland. But the the people and the the history, we think we have old buildings. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. get there, and then this year we had the opportunity to go to an entirely different climate and go to Italy and the language barrier was something we had to embrace yeah. and had the kids kind of evolve and get involved in that. So it's been nothing but first class and the kids have gone home and not only talked about the football or the soccer, but they've talked about just their experiences of, with the people and the culture and the food. And, and that's what we want to get out of it. Not very few, if any of our kids are going to do this professionally, but if they can continue to love and grow and, and bring the energy and passion of the game and, and maybe someday be in the shoes I'm in and bring kids over and talk about their experiences. And World Strides has been an incredible part. Great. And I think, that, you know, just to finish up, the exciting part for us with World Strides is, is to develop these opportunities for the state ODP programs. We're going through, you know, some, some um, changes in, in, in the youth soccer landscape in the U.S. And ODP has, has got maybe a slightly different identity from 10 years or so ago. And... And I think the beautiful thing for us is to be collaborating with people like yourself and say, how do we bring these programs to the state ODP programs to enhance and, and open up their experience? Is that something that you think is 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 a great add-on to, to all of the state ODP programs? I, I do, and, and especially for a state like West Virginia where we're a small program, ODP is a very important program for us because we don't have any of the... Um, DAs. Yeah. So for those players that want to have more exposure and have an opportunity to move on, ODP is serving a great purpose. And for us to be able to offer an added incentive of if, if in fact 
you choose to be involved in ODP, you're going to be exposed to international travel uh, as part of our program at a very reasonable cost and, and, and your experience will be first class. We will we'll make sure of that because of our partnership with World Strides. Yeah. And that's exciting for us. And just to finish up over the next two days, we've got a fun couple of days over the, the rest of the weekend here in Lisbon. Um, what excites you about going to the Benfica game on Saturday? Well, I have to tell you, that's that, that's going to be a culmination of a great week. And to be able to be in that environment with uh, a potential championship on the line, you know, Champions League spot, um, just to, again, to be in that energy and passion uh, is going, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to that. It's going to be great. And I am too. So, well, it's just to, you know, kind of wrap up here. It's, it's an absolute pleasure working with you, Mark, and, and your colleagues and your state association. It gives us a lot of joy to, to watch the experience that we give to your kids and to your coaching staff. And, and we thank you for your investment in the program too. Well, and I would like to thank you from our state association that, that a, a world-class organization like World Strides would take the time and energy and effort to reach out to a small state and offer these opportunities for coaches like myself and kids that would never have this opportunity. So again, I thank you guys as well. Great. Thank right. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Very good. Thank you.